Okay, so good morning, everyone. I am Chiara, ESR 11 of Interfaces, and I'm here to interview Ozge from Bumbleco Creatives. So, Ozge, please introduce yourself. Hi, first of all, thank you for this interview opportunity. Uh, I'm Ozge, Creative Director of Bumbleco Creatives, an award winning digital storytelling agency located in Amsterdam. I'm leading a very talented team of people uh, dedicated to create social and positive impact through their work. Uh, we are specialized in social impact organizations or change makers all around the world. We're helping them to increase their impact by widening their audiences, creating communication strategies, campaigns, um, graphic design, and especially animation videos. And we are also giving storytelling for social impact trainings and providing tools to empower them and help them to tell their own stories self-sufficiently. Explain now why do you participate in interfaces? As Boom Creators, we only work with organizations and projects creating positive uh, impact to amplify the voices of change makers and people who are working for the good of other living things or the planets. In that sense, Interfaces' mission aligns with ours. Also, uh, we have chosen to participate in Interfaces' project as their communication partner because we strongly believe in the importance of bridging the gap between scientific research and general public. By collaborating with Interfaces, we have the opportunity to communicate the project's research findings, vision, and mission in a compelling and accessible manner. Our goal is to create uh, engaging animation videos and uh, visuals that effectively convey the significance and potential impact of the project to a broader audience. What is your role? And uh, yes, what, what do you do in the consortium? In this project, my role as the creative director involves overseeing the creative process guiding the storytelling and visual design and ensuring that our animation effectively communicates the key messages of the interface project. I work closely with our team of animators, writers, designers to ensure that our work aligns with the project's objectives and effectively engages uh, the target audience. I also give the art of storytelling for scientific communication trainings for the PhD students of this project to help them, again, convey their messages, their, um, share the, their research findings with a broader audience in a more effective and efficient way. Okay, so thank you very much. So uh, as you explained us, you are not uh, a scientist, you are a communication expert. So uh, I'd like to know from you what are the challenges of uh, working on the communication about scientific project like interfaces so like communicating with the public uh, or making science accessible to everyone what what is most important and, and most challenging for you working on the communication uh, of a scientific project like interfaces presents unique challenges one of the primary challenges is translating the complex scientific concepts into a language and visual format that is um, accessible to a non-specialist audience. So um, we strive to strike a balance between accuracy and simplicity and ensuring that the core scientific principles are conveyed without overwhelming the viewers. So this, was, um, this is a unique challenge for this kind of scientific projects that we are working on. Additionally, ensuring that the animations capture the essence and significance of the project requires a deep, deep, deep uh, understanding of the uh, research and its implications, uh, which we achieve through a really close collaboration with the Interfaces team. They help us to understand um, these scientific processes. Sometimes they help us get really fundamental scientific information so but uh, we love it 
with interfaces and also uh, with all other scientific projects, we learn a lot. So um, it's a um, refreshing input also for our own team. Okay, that is clear. Thank you. And uh, fr from uh, your point of view, how do you approach uh, putting emphasis on the bioeconomy aspect of the project? Because for us scientists uh, that take part in it, it's clear. But putting emphasis uh, for the general public must be a bit of a struggle. So how do you do that? Emphasizing the bioeconomy aspect of the project is a key focus for us. We approach this by highlighting the innovative use of biological resources and sustainable processes in the project's research and industrial applications. Through visual storytelling, we aim to showcase how the interface project uh, contributes to the development of a bioeconomy where biological resources are, are utilized in a sustainable and efficient manner to foster economic growth and environmental well-being. So for our public audience, we make sure that the effect of bioeconomy is very clear for them, both economic growth and also environmental well-being. Okay, thank you very much. So um, another curiosity that I have uh, is if you have noticed uh, in the last uh, few years uh, if more companies or projects uh, focused on bioeconomy and sustainability have approached you more often uh, for their communication. Yes, definitely. Over the years, uh, we noticed an increasing interest uh, from biotechnological and sustainability-focused companies and organizations approaching in approaching um, our agency. I believe that this trend reflects the growing awareness and importance of sustainability within society and also the funding organizations as a reflection of that. As a non-specialist, I believe that sustainability uh, has become increasingly uh, significant because it addresses the uh, urgent need to preserve the resources of our planet and mitigate the impact of climate change um, directly in our lives. General society, I think, recognizes the importance of sustainable practices in ensuring a livable and prosperous future for all, uh, prompting companies to align their strategies and values accordingly. So it's a urgent need. And now we are at our final question. So uh, it's a bit of a curiosity about sustainability. If your company is uh, developing new strategies or internal protocols uh, for improving sustainability, for example, like uh, I'm thinking about, I don't know, recycling uh, the materials that you use uh, or using a bio-based uh, alternatives uh, to something. Uh, so like very everyday things like this. Yes, um, at Mumu Creatives, we are committed to practicing what we preach and we are continually developing uh, new strategies and internal rules to become a more sustainable uh, company. We are using um, digital delivery methods whenever it's possible to reduce our carbon footprints, we are choosing eco-friendly packaging and renewable resources for our products. And also, I think the main contribution in terms of sustainability in our company is uh, one of our core values that we highly value the notion of equality. So um, we believe that this core value is fundamental in understanding the approach is sustainability. So we believe that human beings are not superior than any other species and not nature. We don't need to dominate nature. Any human being is not superior than any other. We are all equal. So this is the equality is one of our uh, core uh, company agency values. So uh, I think if I have to say that what we do to be more sustainable, we highly uh, value the, the understanding of equality and um, spreading it as a uh, company culture.
Perfect. And that was the final question. So thank you very much, Osge, for spending time with me for this short interview. I hope uh, that uh, you enjoyed uh, talking with me about these things and I hope that our public will enjoy the interview. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you for this opportunity to communicate what we do and how we approached the interface project. It was a great pleasure to work with such talented scientists, young scientists dedicated to create a better world for everyone. So I'm, I'm extremely happy to be able to be part of this project. Uh, also, uh, I can say it's also for my team. Thank you so much. Thank <music> you.